The government of Canada has made a strong commitment to science and technology. Freshwater is a priority area, and applied and relevant freshwater science ultimately helps ensure clean, safe, and secure water for people and ecosystems. A key federal role is to provide scientific knowledge as the basis for which decisions and sound policies and regulations can be made. Environment Canada's Science Technology Branch leads this exciting research, which often starts here at Canada Centre for Inland Waters in Burlington on the shores of Lake Ontario. Sound water management benefits all Canadians. The Canada Centre for Inland Waters provides the department with facilities for environmental research and development as well as monitoring and resource management. A broad range of scientists from Environment Canada's Water Science and Technology Branch play a critical role in providing the knowledge necessary for the management of the Great Lakes and other aquatic ecosystems. Dr. Mark McMaster is part of the Ecosystem Health Assessment Project. The project evaluates fish health all across Canada. We're developing monitoring programs that evaluate the growth, reproduction, and survival of fish. The fish tell us about the health of the aquatic ecosystem, and that's important because water is part of our survival. Collaborative arrangements exist between Environment Canada researchers, technical staff, and other government departments, universities, and research organizations, as well as international stakeholders, to address a variety of water-related issues. Engineer Ralph Moulton is with the Boundary Water Issues Unit. They are responsible for the management of water levels in the Great Lakes. Management of the Great Lakes water level is important for the economy and for the environment, as well as for personal well-being. By that I mean that the economy is important for the hydroelectric generation that we get from the Great Lakes and the, and the connecting rivers. The environment aspect of the wetlands on the Great Lakes are a major source for fish breeding and for birds and for songbirds as well. And for personal well-being, we have many people who live along the shoreline or go to cottages on the shoreline, go to the beaches, etc. So it's important for all those aspects. As Canada's largest freshwater research institute, Environment Canada has more than 300 staff working at CCIW, including aquatic ecologists, hydrologists, toxicologists, physical geographers, modelers, limnologists, environmental chemists, and technicians. The centre has made major contributions to the restoration of the Great Lakes, reductions in acid rain, regulation of toxic substances, creation of international atmospheric conventions, and has helped shape environmental management of Canadian freshwater resources from the smallest stream to the largest watershed in Canada. Dr. Tom Edge is with the National Water Research Institute and his area of expertise is waterborne pathogens. Waterborne pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms like bacteria and viruses that can occur in water. Our role is to detect these pathogens in water and track where they're coming from. We do this with a variety of forensic-type techniques that detect the DNA of the microorganisms in water, and we do this to ensure that Canadians have safe drinking water and clean water to swim in. The government is working for you, and our science is benefiting you.